Hey, James, over here. Oh yeah, what's up, John? I cannot believe Mom told Jesus we wanted to be at his right and left hand in glory. I mean, in front of all the other disciples. Oh, very uncool, Mom. So uncool, Mom. And then Jesus had to, like, make an example of us in front of everybody. And then all the other disciples were, like, all mad at us and stuff. It's like... They don't get how I'm supposed to be the beloved disciple. And I'm your brother, so clearly I'm like right up there, right? Uh, uh-huh, yeah. I, I mean, I just don't get what we were supposed to get out of all of that today. <laughs> it's that time again. To make bizarre faces? To put cucumbers in our ears? To ask all the kids to send us candy? No. no. It's time to find out today's lesson. And to find out what it is, we turn to the Wheel of Morality. Wheel of Morality, turn, turn, turn. Tell us the lesson that we should learn. Yay! Yay! <laughs> envy, envy is the art counting the other fellow's blessings instead of your own. I'll admit, there's definitely been times where I've wanted something that somebody else had. Like that time Jesus gave Peter that new nickname, The Rock. I mean, he called us Sons of Thunder, which is cool and all, but The Rock, man, that's legendary. Uh, just to be clear, envy, is that like a bad thing? Yeah, I mean... Jesus is amazing, so why wouldn't we want to be his right-hand bros? Uh, and a left hand. Dude, the other disciples are literally looking at us right now. We have got to figure out the point here. Okay, Jesus said, whoever wants to be great among you will be your servant. I mean, that really doesn't sound like envy to me. I mean, unless I am becoming a servant so I can become great. Oh, stop. Oh, I think maybe it's hard to be happy for yourself or for others if all you think about is getting things for yourself. If all we want is to have the power that Jesus has, I mean, do we really care about him? I, I think you're making my brain hurt. I mean, let's just ask mom. Mom! Mom! Mom!